Okay, so that's a, that's a couple things I got to say about that. One, uh, you can't be intimidating with uh, Bebe's kids' braids. That's number one. Uh, number two, I have no problem with Drake being upset. Let's be very clear about that. I have no issue with Drake being mad at DeMar. DeMar Wild for going on Breakfast Club tomorrow. That's still my homie. Nah, nigga, stay over there. You can't be over there dancing with my enemy after the personal relationship we had. You in a video. We going around calling me a pedophile. I think there's not going to be any issues. That's not what I have a problem. My problem is stand on your shit. You can't. It's very, it's very easy to go on a broadcast and talk crazy about a nigga when he's on the court. Very easy to do that. And there's a lot. I'm not mad at him saying that uh, his jersey shouldn't go up there. When you're mad at somebody, you're not caring about facts. Now there's niggas on the internet who I had a debate about saying. Well, it's a new point because DeMar ain't going to get his jersey retired anyway. Stop it, okay? He's the Raptors' leading scorer. He is. He was there longer than Vince, and he also went had better, more playoff experience. He's a than better Vince. player than Vince Carter in a Toronto Raptors jersey. In a Toronto it's Raptors jersey. Yeah. He, he might better, be a better player than Vince Carter in general, but that's a whole I don't know thing. about that. But he's, he's probably a better player than no, Vince Carter. No, no. That's I don't about know right. he's a better player than Man, you can't name me nothing Vince Carter did that wasn't a dunk. Now I'm saying, yeah, name the one moment outside of going to graduate, nigga, instead of playing in the playoff game. Like, let's okay, literally. Nigga. Hey, niggas, y'all, why? We we no, going off my I'm at, I'm I'm then now I'm finna go and defend Vince Carter more. But anyway, uh, <laughs> that nigga said what? I that nigga Dante said what did Vince Carter do other than graduate to go play the game? <laughs> Which I can't really name nothing. You can't name no Demar moments either, though. At <laughs> least the conference finals a few times, if I'm not mistaken. I, yeah, he's the franchise leading there. scorer. Facts. No, That's I, the I, so I, what are we doing hey, here? No, I put. <laughs> hey, I said he should get a jersey time. I'm just saying if we talking about key moments. You can DeMar name one of the G, G. You can name Demar Bulls moments. Yeah, are we talking about his rap? He got more moments on the Bulls. Oh. We talking about, we talking about a guy in general. We talking about his Raptor though. We talk about, I'm talking about in general. Hey, oh, you, the you only said DeMar got more moments in general. Okay, in general. I can't, I can't, I can't, yes. I can't no, he that. said that DeMar DeRozan has more mem- more moments as a bull than Vince Carter has as a as rapper. A hey. Fuck hey. Right. I can't argue Scott. that. Fuck the party I can't right. argue that. I can't argue that. Like, I really okay, can't argue Scott, all Vince Carter, the Dunkin' Contest. Graduation. Graduate, yeah. Dunks and graduation. He, he invented we got. club. Hey, he's the reason they got bottle service in Toronto, nigga. Leave Vince alone. Anyway, anyway. It nigga. was that Vince or that John Sally? No, nah, it was Vince. They're, they're, okay. It's in his documentary. Vince the reason they have bottle service in Toronto. But anyway, point being, Drake, you can't say what you said tomorrow when the nigga's walking off. Stand on it. You're on the NBA court. Jamal ain't going to come over there and smack you. Say what you got to say. That's the issue I got. Stop being soft. And the reason, another thing that's annoying to me is, this is why it's so funny because he's still obviously annoyed about this. He's like, you still can't escape the song. The Dodgers came out to it in this parade, and now you're gonna walk around like you some tough guy. I that that I don't I'm not feeling with he comes off real soft. And I think the thing that Kendrick has accomplished, and I think we talked about this in summer sessions a little bit, public perception. The public perception of Drake is they actually made him look corny. When you used to call him corny, people are oh you lame. How you gonna call him corny? Not even people who used to be big, big fans of Drake, they'll agree with you. And I just feel like what we saw on this past weekend, stand on it, bro. I'm not mad how you feel about it, but stand on it. But I do believe it was an amazing response. To be fair. To be fair. Which hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think it was an amazing response for DeMar to put the Debo clip on his uh, Instagram. But go ahead, Pat. To be fair, what you want me to do? Walk across the he was DeMar was walking. Do you want me to walk up like walk down the court and say, hey, fuck out of here? Like, what you want him to do? Just, well, if he's all the way down there, what's the point of you saying it? You know the no, camera's on you. No, look, no, look, listen, listen. I think the whole fuck out of here thing was like just you could have just I think that was unnecessary. I think the what he said when he was sitting down at the thing was fucking hilarious. I thought that was genuinely hilarious. And obviously, like, yeah, I'm mad. Like. Cause apparently from <laughs> not nah, like not nah, like fuck, what you mean I'm like are you mad? Yes, I'm mad. Like apparently, allegedly, like Demar. Even I think there was a video from about the night that Demar got traded. He went to hang out with Drake. Said he went to Drake crib. They ate. They talked for hours. And then you went then 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 fucking out of granted. You from L.A. You know obviously all oh, you from L.A. Whatever. From Compton. You from Compton. Compton all that correct. cool. <laughs> but then I look up and you on stage dancing. With all these motherfuckers about a song calling me a pedophile. I shouldn't feel away. 
No, I told you, I would have been mad, but stand on it. Like, but, but like again, I don't think he's not standing on it. Again, I think the fuck out of here, that thing was lame, whatever. But he's already all the way that down that side of the court. I think that was lame, whatever. They the camera caught him doing it, whatever. Cool, boom, fine. But at the same time, I don't understand in that situation what like not standing on it would be. Like, what you want me to do? Stop the game and run on the court and yell it at him? Like, I don't really understand what I'm supposed to do. But the whole yeah, situation. Get your Will Smith on. <laughs> but take my name out your mouth. But, 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 but again, I think the whole situation was just, I mean, I actually thought it was like funny banter, honestly. Um, and I think it was just ironic that they decided to retire Vince's jersey the day that, um, that, um, they that they play the Kings. Also, I thought, but I think the funnier part was the obvious lie of a story that Vince Carter told when apparently he threw his <laughs> arm brand on well, his Vince said it was a lie. Vince yeah, told like Drake, that. I still don't believe you. Yeah, like that. Like, like, all right, whatever. But in general, I thought it was a cool moment. Um, and again, shout out Vince. And, you know, um, incredible for him for getting his jersey retired. And, you know, shout out him for all the things he did for the NBA and also for the Raptors. And people got to start acting like jersey retirements are like Hall of Fame inductions. Vince got his jersey. He's getting his jersey retired this year as a net. So I don't want to Okay, it. wait, okay, wait, wait. He shouldn't. I, I'm with you. He shouldn't. I'm with he you. He should that's, not. That's my point. That's the point I'm trying to put out. I, bro, I got sad news for our generation, bro. It's about to be a lot of jerseys going up. We're going to be like, what the it's fuck? It's a lot of niggas on? in the Hall of Fame that we be like, what the fuck is going on? I don't think Vince Carter's a Hall of Famer. But I, mean, I don't either, but I understand why he did. I, I, I don't, don't think either. his cousin is. Him or his cousin. Yeah, but go ahead, Dante. What you think about what happened? Uh, I mean, I think it was just corny. Like, that's been the overall theme here. Like, this shit was corny. And like you said, this is further proof that he's still clearly, clearly, uh, you know, affected by it. Um, the whole cameras on you shit, like, he knew that. So, like, th that, I'm not going to say he planned it, but, like, he knew that people would react to him looking at DeMar, him and Chubb standing up while they sitting there. So, you know, that was corny. And it kind of just plays back into everything Kendrick said in the songs about him. Like, you know. I like Drake with the melodies. I don't like Drake when he act tough. Like this, this was corny as fuck. But I mean, to everybody's point, he does have a right to be, you know, a little ticked off with Demar because like you was my homie. So like, if anything, I would expect you to play a neutral as opposed to jumping in the video and see walking on stage when they calling me a pedophile. That nigga said, "Well, see, that's the thing. Like he, they family's cool. So it's like, yeah, I'm cool with Drake." Well, Kendrick family is cool with uh with Demar family. So that's that, that's so gang time. Damn Scott. You, Damn Scott. Damn okay. Scott. Thank you for taking my shit. Cause oh, that's exactly what, that's exactly <laughs> what I was about to say. Niggas all fun and games until your family is cool yeah. with the other nigga family. Yeah, we could be all cool. You can we can go out to eat and kick it and talk after I got traded and all of that shit. But there's levels to friendship. Yeah. And if that nigga family, especially not only is cool with all of them niggas, but if anybody in that nigga family still live in Compton, nigga, he got to get on that stage and jig. Because yeah. the last thing you want to do is be neutral because the worst thing you can be is neutral in some cases. I don't, I'm not mad at Drake being upset, but I'm just going to speak for me. I'd be upset, but then be like, well, what else he's supposed to do? So I'll, I'll get my five minutes of being like, oh, man, what the fuck? But DeMar DeRozan still got love for Drake. He do. It's just that his love for his family and his right. neighborhood is more than that nigga. Like and for me, for me, I look, I got you. Let, let's story time with Bang real quick. I'm going to make this quick. All right. I went to Michelle Clark Middle School. In 1995, 1993 to 1996, I got jumped on by some foes. <laughs> one, of the, one of the foes that jumped on me was a nigga that I knew. But I beat up three of the niggas that jumped me. He couldn't just stand there. He had to jump in. Because if he didn't, that nigga was going to be in violation. The next day I came to school... Niggas thought we was going to fight. And that nigga was like, oh, man, no, nah, that's cool. Not only that, hey, Lee took care of himself, man. What's good? We straight? We good? I was like, yeah, we straight. We good. For about five minutes, I was like, man, I might have to fight. And I might end up getting fucked up even more on this round. 
But the respect level, I was like, all right, I get it. You could not jump in because then you get fucked up and you might get fucked up worse than I did. All right, man, no harm, no foul. And nobody bothered me for the rest of that year. Some shit you just got to take and be like, all right, man, all right, I get it. And on this one, if I was Drake, I'd be mad for five minutes. But if all of that nigga family is in fucking Compton, they ain't in fucking Toronto, what you expect for it to happen? That nigga family is there. They all family. They know each other. They grew up with each other. Their level of friendship is going to be bigger than that. Now, Drake knows some shit that we don't know and that all them niggas was like, fuck you while you was in Toronto and shit, then that's cool. But some shit, especially if this is what you're going to do, Drake, man, you got to chill out with that performative shit because that shit that happened on that court, that shit that happened in front of the TV, not the shit that he was doing with the announcers because that right there jokes and all of that but all of that pussy shit and all that man come on bro all that shit is performative because at the end of the day that nigga was in your city and if you wanted to you could have stopped that tour bus if you wanted to since you drake and since you got all of this and all of that shit that's I, man, whatever i'll say this we, we're bringing uh our college football correspondent kyron samuels in about five minutes uh, kyron, I, say this. I heard that gang shit i don't know if you want to be a part of the show <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, what's called is this is this one thing last thing i'm saying is like you said it's neighborhoods i think problem was on uh problem dj quick was on uh drink champs and they were asking him nori being nori was like so who, who side you got in the beef and then you know quick was like yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna I'm dot you know people copped it but you know i still like drake too and the problem was like nah nah it's it's dot he said his sister and my sister best friends it's dot so like you said, it's the it's it's the family thing right there. And I did think it was funny that this ended up with shout out to friend of the channel, Glass Malone, saying that you know he can't run the fade. He said Debo uh, got hands, and you got whack one hundred on there talking about this game bang, homie. Like it just some stuff, Drake. Just to, just stay over there, okay? Stay like, over there. Just just stay over there. Like I'm not saying that Drake can't get nobody touched. He got enough money to get people touched, but stay away from that Compton stuff, bro. Like just just. Stay over there. That, that's what I thought about. Like, I ain't got a problem with him being mad, but stand on your stuff, man. But so cool, so cool. double hat trick. I know the cold too. Ice tray, go for tray. Yeah, we cold too. Get that paper on these player haters. Old news money on the other line. So I'm not gonna hold you. Money on the other line. So I'm not gonna hold you. Money on the other line. So I'm not gonna hold you. Money on the other line. So